never know what you're going to find on your pre-trip. I don't know how this happened, but I got to climb under my trailer and fix it. Come along with me and I'll show you. Looks like the airline came... Uh, The thing that holds up the airline just broke off, so I, all I got to do is fix it. It's not that big of a deal, but it would be a big of a deal if that would have dragged on the ground and broke, because then I would have lost my air supply to my trailer brakes. Not good. So I got to fix it. I just love... Uh, Climbing under my trailer and at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's just uh, one of those things we truck drivers have to do. I'm sure glad I'm not in a mud pile though. Like in a, <laughs> that would happen. Like I'd be like in the middle of a, a mud lot somewhere. Well, that was one of those repair jobs that I could tell had been done probably by a few other drivers. If I had some good, some better wire, I would have done it with wire. I use rope. But this trailer's going to Canada, so I did a pretty good job. I wanted to make sure that the guy who's taking it to Canada doesn't run into all those problems that you run into when you go to Canada because you almost have to have a brand new trailer going to Canada. Other carriers I've run for before we went to Canada we had to have our trailers inspected professionally. Taken to a shop and inspected. Okay, we're off. I had a little mishap. We're just entering Nebraska. So we're making a lot of progress. That's one thing I like about trucking. It's like, uh, if you're a, uh, guy in construction and you're out there building houses, you're satisfied when you see that house done and when you see it built and you can look at it, but it's the same as us truck drivers. When we're driving and we see progress, you know, state after state after state, it makes you feel good. And when you're done and people get their products, it even gives you more satisfaction. So those people that say there's no pride in trucking, they don't know what they're talking about because they're not a trucker and they don't understand. They don't have that same excitement that you and I have as truckers about getting something, something accomplished. Well, I'm behind the times. Looks like they turned the pilot into a flying J. All these truck stops are changing their names. Because every time I used to come here, all this was solid ice and snow, and you'd be sliding down this driveway we're on right now. think they know what they're doing either.
Just a quick stop here. I'm gonna check that repair I made this morning on my trailer to make sure it's holding up. And as always, before you go under the awning, you have to make sure your satellite puts you on line one, otherwise it puts you on line four. Time to get rolling again. Just had to get a quick cup of coffee in there. My uh, trailer repair was okay. Wow, these uh, motorcycles are taking a chance here. Nebraska. Seems like there's so much construction. For 10 miles it's 75 and then 10 miles after that it's down to 55 and so on and so on. Everything's in construction. It's just some boy truckers are used to in the summer, every freeway in the country is in, in, under construction of doing what we call uh, tea calling this load in one of our yards. So I'm getting paid for this load. I'll get a check for it on Tuesday. Even though technically I shouldn't get a check for it until next week. They let you, they let you uh, say you delivered it early to a yard if you're just delivering it to a yard and that really helps. So sometimes you end up with a big giant check and that's good. You know, that everybody likes big giant checks. <laughs> Welcome to Iowa. If you know, that's the world's largest truck stop called Iowa 80. In fact, last weekend was the big jamboree here, big giant truck show they had. I've always wanted to go to that, but... Like everything else in trucking, you just you can never be anywhere on your agenda. It is a pretty big truck stop, I'll admit that.
And that is Iowa 80, the world's largest truck stop. I'm Indiana Jack. Let's finish our trip into Chicago. Big, big wheels keep rolling. I feel the rumble beneath my feet. Big. White lines look and we're the crossing same. the Mississippi here into Illinois, the state of our final destination. Hey, when I got into Chicago, I found this hotel that actually let me park my truck right next to the hotel on the street. Got a nice room for the night, and while I was eating breakfast in the morning, they asked me if I wanted to have pancakes. And they pointed me to, guess what? An automatic pancake making machine. So watch this, it's really neat if you like pancakes. Along there. Okay. Sean Mark said he linked the pictures to County upcoming Rolling Stone magazine. He's making one or two and it's moving. Alrighty. Voila. That's Sergeant now. And it's gonna drop on that plane. Yeah, 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 it's gonna drop on that do you do two like just to get the well, yeah. cleaner off the, we'll just, just to make sure it's working in order uh -huh. those will be good the it's clean i don't touch the belts with anything oh. when it's ready they'll tell me to change them and oh. that's all i do the reason i said that is when i was a kid my dad would make waffles and yeah you had to clean the thing first you, well, I well, I do like pancakes and those were very good. Thanks for watching the little video today on my trip all the way from Utah into Chicago. Thanks for riding along with me and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm Indiana Jack and remember, trucking's an adventure ride along with me.